Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to another video. What's happened to my throat? <clears throat> if you are new here, my name is Amy and I have been on a weight loss journey for the last couple of years following the starch solution and using the principles of calorie density. And I wanna show you what I'm eating every single day, how I make this lifestyle work for me, how I eat massive portions of delicious food every single day to get and stay lean. You don't have to count your calories, portion control, do mad workouts. You just need to be sensible about the stuff that you're actually putting on your plate, low calorie density goodness, and then the world's your oyster and you can literally just eat as much as you want to be satisfied. It's incredible. I also love to get creative with food, so this is a fun place for me to really like push my creativity and my boundaries, especially because at the moment I'm doing a three week potato reset and I'm on my third and final week um, and I'm eating nothing but potatoes and non-starchy veggies. So let's figure out what the heck I'm gonna eat today. Last night's food was so good. That um, spinach and artichoke cheesy dip Oh, it's just on my mind and it was so so yummy. I've got some leftover cheesy sauce, which I'll probably have with some thing potato -y. I'm not quite sure yet. But basically, I've got some prep that I want to do today because I'm running out of goods. I hardly have any sweet potatoes baked, so I need to get on it pronto. But the good thing is, is I've got loads. I've got a mountain because my gorgeous husband, husband James, picked up so many for me. Um, I think I'm going to probably just do like an entire tray because I am just loving the sweet potatoes at the moment. Just this plain baked sweet potato. I've seen it might be fun to do a full day of eating nothing but veggies and baked sweet potatoes. Um, just because I love them so much and I'd actually like to do that anyway. But I also need to put some steamed potatoes into my Instant Pot. So I'm just going to whack those in real quick because this evening I am going to be having um, hash browns with tomato soup. Very quick and easy tomato soup because I am out and about today taking my kids swimming. So I'm gonna put these on, gonna put these on, and then let's regroup. Oh, so I've just finished. I didn't realize I didn't have enough of those clean potatoes. And the potatoes I get from Riverford are like properly muddy. Um, and I was just thinking about something which is, whatever you're doing, if you're wanting to do this successfully and really commit to it, find a way to make your life easier. It is a pain in my butt to wash these potatoes every single time I use them. And so I'm so reluctant to use them. Even though they're lovely and organic, I just, the act of washing a potato is clearly too much for my brain to handle when I'm pretty busy. So if you're buying stuff that you need to do loads of prep with, and that is off-putting to you, sorry about the squeaking, and it's not keeping you sustainable and consistent, then try buying pre-chopped stuff, frozen stuff, already cleaned stuff. Try making your life easier for yourself than just fighting a losing battle. These used to come washed and now they're unwashed, so I don't know what to do. But anyway, my point is, make your life easier. Buy pre-chopped carrots, buy anything that you need to to make your life easier. Um, find ways of throwing quick and simple meals together. Hopefully these videos can give you some inspiration as to how to do that. But anyway, just thought that was worth mentioning. Okay, so sweet potatoes are in, potatoes are on. Um, I was thinking about, obviously, I'm a little bit limited in terms of what creativity I can get up to because I've only got potatoes to play with and veggies. But I was thinking about, I was thinking about doing like a sweet potato, how do I describe this? Granola? That's not the right word, but something along those lines. Basically, I was wondering if I grated up a raw sweet potato and tossed it with some really cool flavors and stuck it in the oven, what would happen? Because I've never tried doing that before. And I'm also, the other thing I'm thinking about, which I don't think will work, but I feel like I have to try it just for the crack, is scrambled potatoes, like scrambled eggs, but a potato with like some black salt and turmeric and stuff like that. I mean, I know you can do a potato hash, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm thinking about more of like a scrambled potato. So I'm thinking if I added my leftovers, some leftover cheesy sauce to like, you know how I scrambled, I mean, I've never eaten a scrambled egg in my life because I'm a lifelong vegan, but you know how you can do like that saucy bit. So I think if I use some cheese sauce and then like scrambled some stuff in there with like some black salt and turmeric and some like onion and garlic powder and stuff, what would happen? So those are the things that are going on in my mind. I'm so sorry about all the squeaking. Romy's just really, really vocal today. <laughs> but I know a lot of you love it, so yay. <laughs> Um, it'll be so fun when she can actually do some proper talk. Um, but anyway, so those are the recipes that I've got in my mind, but I don't know whether I'll have time to do them today. I'll tell you what, let's do the sweet potato now because I want to see what happens. Let's do it. Do it. Okay, so this morning I have just pulled out loads of random veggies and I'm just going to cook them up in one big pile. I've got some purple cabbage, broccoli, two courgettes and some carrots. Let's do this. Romy's going to help me do some slicing. She's got her knife. She's ready. 
Oh, and a nice taste. So I want to show you what I've got going on in terms of this crazy sweet potato thing. So I've got a full grated raw sweet potato with cinnamon and a tiny bit of maple syrup. And I'm going to see if this crisps up nicely. I am hoping for good things, but I have no idea because it might just go soggy and floppy. But let's see what happens. Okay, Romy is very tired, so I need to put her to bed almost immediately. It's a bit risky because my sweet potatoes are still in the oven, like the uh, grated ones, and I probably need to get them out in about five, ten minutes. So I'm going to have to do that single-handedly whilst I'm feeding Romy, so that's going to be fun. But I want to show you my breakfast that I've been gravitating towards recently, which every single day, it's quick, it's simple, it's satisfying, delicious. It literally just ticks all the boxes. Um, so this is my gigantic sweet potato with loads of cinnamon and all of those veggies humongous low calorie density feast anyway i'm gonna go and dig into this feed rami and do some work okay rami had the longest sleep ever it's like half one so um i'll show you what i've got going on at the moment rami woke up very hungry so she is just having some potato that we baked up um some courgette well which i think she's eaten some broccoli oh goodness some chickpeas and some onion because i was slicing up some onion for um the tomato soup that i'm making for dinner tonight which I've just got going on here. And she was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So she really wanted some of that onion. So I think she just quite likes the flavor, uh, which so it's a nice thing to introduce. Um, I'm not a massive raw onion person, but if she is, then why not? Um, so that is what Rami's having. Then I'm gonna follow up with um, some nuts and seeds and stuff for her, for a little bit of healthy fat. Oh, actually maybe some avocado, because we've got some in the fridge. Are you shining up on your num num? Do you have a lovely bite? Oh, Rami, that beautiful you little sausage <laughs> um so the sweet potato crispy thing the shredded sweet potato stuff um i ate the first batch in all honesty whilst romy was asleep i went and got out of the oven and ate it so i made a second batch um because i want to show you guys and i was also in the middle of filming it and i kind of needed to do it again uh, so this is what i have kind of created and i know it looks strange and i don't know what to call it but it's really really yummy and it's got like loads of extra crispy crispiness mm, it's almost like a sweet potato granola i mean i don't know how else to say it <laughs> but anyway this is what i created anyway i might have a little nibble of this um but i'm not super super hungry for lunch today i think i'm just gonna have my leftover roast potatoes james had loads of those um plus i think i've got some leftover cheese sauce in the fridge from yesterday and I'm going to do some veggies just kind of have a simple little lovely little platter okay so it's nearly time to fly out the door because we need to go and pick up Abe and then we're going to take Abe swimming and I have not really had any lunch I've kind of just had those little sweet potato crumbles but I'm starting to get a little bit hungry um, so I'll tell you my strategy so I need to kind of eat in the car slash whilst we're in soft play um, getting ready for swimming and stuff. So it has to be a quick and simple meal, not too messy. I do have some leftover veggies. I did not eat all of my veggies this morning because I made literally so many. Um, so I'm gonna have that later when I come back. And my tomato soup is all prepped. I've got loads of sweet potatoes and I've got these steamed potatoes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna chop up some of these steamed potatoes. I'm going to do, like I've got three. I don't think I am super hungry to need more than three, but I'm going to put four in just in case I happen to get snacky. And I'm just going to chop them up into tiny little small pieces. And I've also got my leftover little um, roast potatoes from yesterday. So I'm going to chop these up, coat them in some onion powder, garlic powder, smoked paprika, nutritional yeast, and a bit of potato flakes because that gives it so much good crispiness. Um, and then I'm going to chuck it in the air fryer for a little bit, crisp those up. And then alongside with that, I'm just going to take some carrots and cucumber. I know it sounds boring, but actually, if you're hungry, it's yum. So sometimes you've got to keep it simple when life is busy. Otherwise, it's not really doable. If I try to try to make something super fancy now, I don't have time for it. So anyway, I literally need to leave in 10 minutes. So let's do this. Okay, so just pick Abe up from school. It was a mad rush in the end, actually, because I had to put Romy's whole car seat together. I've never done that before because it was covered in puke and it had just been cleaned. So James usually does that. So I was like, ah! So it's... Oh, baby, you would like some potatoes, would you? There you go, Romy. 
Anyway, I want to quickly show you what I put together. I've got some plain potatoes and some two minute roasted potatoes. I didn't have time to roast them fully. So that's what I've got. And then, and then a cucumber and I'm feeling actually hungry. So I'm going to munch on these potatoes as I'm driving to swimming and then probably have the cucumber later. Okay, we're just back from swimming and I'll show you what I've got going on on the dinner front. So obviously I made my tomato soup i.e. pasta sauce for the kids um, in advance. I'm just heating up real quick. Actually, I think that's enough. Um, and Abe enjoyed my uh, crispy potatoes so much while we were swimming that he wants to make some more. So I'm going to teach him how to make it. So he's going to make it right now. Um, so we're going to have some crispy potatoes. They're going to have pasta and tomato sauce. I'm going to have a massive soup. And I'm also going to eat my veggies first because I need to get those veggies in. Okay, so the soup is all done. And I want to show you what the kids have got quick pasta tomato sauce and they've already halved an avocado already before i get stuck into my soup however i am hydrating because i realized i don't know when our last time i had water was because it's been a very crazy afternoon the reason why that's important is because sometimes you could think you're really hungry but actually you're just thirsty so hydrate first before a meal and just good to be hydrated in general oh yes this is my soup i've just put some of those potato sprinkles on the top <laughs> yum so we're just sitting at the little table, all having snacks. So I've finished my soup. Very noisy. Moving on to my massive plate of veggies and a carrot. Okay, guys, how are you doing? So I just wanted to give you a quick little update. Um, it is quite late now. It's uh, quarter past ten. Oh, my gosh. I need to go to bed soon. Um, but, yeah, so um, this evening has been a bit of a weird one. I know I actually have not eaten any starch this evening, like, for my dinner. I mean, breakfast, lunch and dinner are all kind of irrelevant terms, remember? It's just a matter of going with the flow in terms of what your body needs when it needs it. So I actually ate a ton of potatoes whilst we were out at the swimming place, like, en route. I did also eat half a cucumber. I don't know whether I mentioned that. Um, but then when I got back, I was, like, totally starched out. I could tell from my own body that I did not need any more starch. What I needed was some extra bulky vegetableness. So I had that soup. Then what did I have after that? I ate all my veggies and I had a carrot and that's it. And I feel perfectly satisfied. I'm not hungry. I don't need any starch. So anyway, it's just when you start eating more whole foods and especially for me doing the potato reset, I feel so much more in tune with what my body wants. It can really, it can talk to me and it can tell me if it wants a starch, if it wants something sweet, if it wants loads of veggies. So I'm just able to listen to it. And that is such a lovely thing because I feel like that's probably what we should be doing most of the time. And our brain and our bodies get so confused when we overstimulate it with loads of crazy stuff. Um, so yes, yeah, so I know it's not been a super exciting dinner, a realistic day of eating. I mean, I've been busy today. I'm a bit, I'm knackered today. It's been a long day. James has been out of the house from eight in the morning till eight at night. And I don't know how single parents do it. Hats off to them doing that every single day, all day and the weekends. Like, oh my gosh, that is just amazing. I'm used to having help at night with James. And so it was a tough night for me. But anyway, um, everybody has those. But anyway, I am going to go. Tomorrow I'm going to wake up with some fresh vigour. And I'm excited to create some fun, fun stuff. I'll tell you what I was thinking about. I was thinking about making... And we made some carrot halva for my, our Indian cookbook. I say our, I mean my sister-in-law and I were making the Indian cookbook. Most of you guys know the carrot halva in there was delicious. And I think I can make it potato reset friendly. And I'm craving it. So I'm thinking breakfast time is carrot halva time. And I'm getting a massive Riverford order tomorrow with loads and loads of stuff as well, which I'm really excited about. So hopefully... If I remember to, and James doesn't put all my food away, I'll give you a nice big grocery haul as well, because I know a couple of you are asking for one, um, and I have not delivered recently. Um, anyway, I will chat to you guys tomorrow, as always. Uh, have a good night.